Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm the king. Welcome back to the channel. Dead by Daylight have just released a teaser for the new chapter. We're not going to waste any time. Let's jump on into this. Let's see it. Let's analyze it. Let's see. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> there, there we go. We can just turn that down now. I'm just going to let it play in the background. Okay, that is already the first thing that comes to my head is the alchemist. The alchemist is the first thing that comes to my head when I see something like this. So before we go ahead and jump on into that, I've successfully gathered all of my thoughts and I'm ready to make like a little bit of a theory of this. I'm going to let you guys all know that currently Polyester and I are having a big race to 100,000 subscribers. And so far we're doing pretty good. You guys have been ultra supportive, but I still need your help because over 60% of you guys are not subscribed. So please consider subscribing down below. And if you think you're subscribed, double check because sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you. And thank you all for all of the recent support as the video continues to play in the background. With that being said, let's jump on into the theories. As you guys can see right away as it continues to play in the background over and over and over, the first thing that I said came to my mind was the alchemist, and it makes a lot of sense. So as this video is playing, we can go ahead and stop it right about here. So first of all, this map looks completely new. It looks like it's going to be an uh, indoor map or outdoor map. I, it could be both because we have some grass outside and then we have the walls, of course. So maybe it's something like, you know, a, a, a kind of like a compound or something where the alchemist is working. If you guys have been paying attention to the lore on the rifts that we've been getting, we've been following the alchemist around. And on one of the rifts, we saw that he went back into the fog. And this is the same guy that has been, you know, working with some of the killers and injecting them with stuff. And uh, if, if you guys do remember, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that he injected himself as well. And as he injected himself, he... He basically screamed and then, you know, he became a monster essentially. And we knew what this essentially did according to the lore. As you can see in the background, we can see him going back into the realm of the entity. We knew that injecting these things, so here's him injecting it to himself. We knew that injecting creatures with this turns them into a monster. We've seen this with all of the hollowed light skins, the spirit. We've seen it with the uh, trapper. We've seen it with all of these killers and it makes him more ghoulish and more into a monster. So essentially, I'm pretty sure that this person that we're seeing right here is the alchemist. And it only makes sense because he injected himself and now he's turning into a monster. As we just watched, when he injected himself, he screamed. And these are the same kind of noises that we're hearing with this character. Post-editing King here, I just want to also let you guys know, I'll, I'll probably make another major theory on this later, but if you listen carefully at the beginning of the clip, you can clearly hear that he is using the serum, injecting himself, and then throwing it on the floor and crushing it or breaking it, maybe stepping on it. And if you clearly look, you can see that he he kind of has like this ogreish hanging down with like, you know, kind of posture. Uh, maybe it could be a werewolf as well. It, it's some big creature. Anyways, we'll make a better theory on this later. This was essentially just my reaction. And yeah, back to the video. And that is pretty huge. We've been following the alchemist for a very, very long time. And the backstory on the alchemist is going to be very interesting because essentially he gave all of the putrid serum to all of the killers to make them more monsterous, to make them more ghoulish, uh, whatever the case may be. And not only was this just a serum to make you more monstrous, it like changed your entire configuration. We've seen like more eyes on characters. We've seen all of the serum pouring out. So what exactly is this guy going to be? We'll pause right here because we only see the shadow of him. That's what we're left to theorize with. And my God, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited. If we're getting teasers this early, like this just dropped. I, I wasn't expecting this. Polly and I actually have a bet. And uh, he won the bet because he said a teaser would come out today. So I have lost. So if we're seeing this, this could mean that we could get the PTP as early as this week or next week. I am super excited. Back to theorizing with everything, though. I'm sorry I'm so discombobulated because this thing was just so fast and just dropped on us. Let's see all of the information that we can gather from this. Obviously, we see some grass, and I must say that the graphics look very, very, very new. Uh, take a look at the grass specifically. This isn't grass that we've seen ever before. Uh, I know that sounds super, super silly, but 
If you remember the theory that I made a couple days ago where I said that the graphical update is going to be coming out with a new chapter, this essentially looks like it's confirming it. If you take a look at the textures on the wall, you can also see that it has a lot of similarities to the things that we've seen before, meaning we could potentially get the graphical update coming on in the PTB or when the chapter is fully released. Maybe not so much in the PTB because there's no map coding for that. And speaking of coding, nothing so far besides this guy is going to be an original. And as you can clearly see, he looks like an original and it looks to be the alchemist. And um, I'm, I'm excited to see what he's going to do. Now, let's think about his power a little bit. Last time we got the power right with the Oni and that's because we basically use context clues. So I'm going to try to do the same here. And if we know he took the serum and we know that the serum makes you into a monster. So maybe he transforms into a monster here and there. And if we remember the actual lore when we were talking about everything and we were giving all this information, it says that this guy just really wants that flower. He wants that serum. And speaking of flowers and serums, recently the Halloween event was pretty much leaked, not confirmed or anything like that. But it was leaked that it was going to be coming out. And this directly could be correlated to the Halloween event. Uh, it is getting pretty close to Halloween as well. It's a little bit early, but... You know, we're in August, by the time this chapter comes out, maybe it'll be September, which would take us all the way into October, which could lead to the Halloween event and, you know, give us the uh, roadmap for all of that. So there's a good correlation with that. And as we know, since the Halloween event is pretty much, you know, confirmed to come back and there's information about flowers that are going to be around, essentially, we can connect this with the alchemist. And it's pretty to the point. And, um... Something is festering in the fog is the caption that we're given. Not too much information that we can get from that, obviously. I, I made a little tweet seven minutes ago, literally, to see um, theories. Let's see what everybody is saying. We got, obviously, it's King. It's the Iron Golem, so a little bit of jokes there. We have one for the Alchemist, so, you know, makes sense. And uh, everybody's saying Mr. Hay, Dr. Jack Hill. Uh, Dr. Jack Hill, Mr. Hay equals the Alchemist. So uh, everybody's saying that. Werewolf is also something that people might think, considering, like, you know, when you're listening to this. It sounds like he's transforming. And I mean, like, if, if you look very closely... Let me slow this down a bit. If you look very, very closely on this image... Let me move my cam over here for now, just for now. If you take a look right here, you can see that clearly this kind of does look like fur. Maybe the Sarah made him into a giant werewolf. That is definitely a possibility. Uh, so we, we might know the identity that it is the alchemist. Maybe that is a given, but we don't essentially know what it is. And uh, werewolf doesn't seem too far-fetched because if you, again, take a very close look to it, you can see that he's starting to mutate a little bit and he's starting to change. And uh, if you think about changes, think about a full moon. You know, this is night as well. And maybe this light that we're seeing is the moonlight. And because of the moonlight, he is transforming into a werewolf. Or maybe he's back into the realm of the entity. He just went through the portal, as we've seen in the previous uh, little cutscenes, putting everything together. And that essentially means that he is now here and now transforming because he is back. Uh, I also want to show you guys that um, right here, you can see like a tree branch. Let me move my cam back. You can see the shadow of a tree branch. So again, this looks kind of like a Crotus Pren map where it's a little bit inside, a little bit outside. We've been getting a lot of indoor maps. So having a mix of both would be quite nice. We can see the paint coming off. And uh, if we look at the architecture as well, again, this looks just like a, a kind of fancy because you can see the uh, like little bit of design that's going on over here. You don't really see that in normal uh, buildings and things like that. So again, it reminds me a little bit of the asylum. Could be a little bit fancy. Could be where he has been working in the realm of the entity, where he was stationed. Uh, it, it does make sense for that. And I'm gonna have to go ahead now and take a look at all of the old alchemist information because it pretty much looks like the alchemist is coming to DBD. What creature or what monster or what killer he's going to be, we don't really know. Maybe this could just be a complete curveball and this could just be the Halloween event in disguise. Very early to be the Halloween event, but with the correlations of, you know, the Alchemist, the Serum, and then the Halloween event basically being confirmed and flowers to be coming out in the game, there is a good correlation there and it makes for a solid theory. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe to help us on the race to 100,000 subscribers. Shout out to all the Patreons. And as always, I'm the King. That's it, my crown. See you guys. We'll see you in the fog. Yeah,